For me, the ICS has bags of potential to really integrate care. The reality is we have to make sure that people can access the care they need when they need it. I definitely think it's an evolution of the work we've been doing together. We've got a real opportunity to make a difference for the population of 1.7 million people that we serve in Sussex. I trained as a physiotherapist, I worked in deprived communities and I often was irritated myself professionally by why I couldn't get my patients to be integrated and seen by the right people. So that drew me into management, that's why I'm here, I think we can do this together. It looks really, really positive for us and I'm sure we can make great progress together. In many ways we've already been working in partnership with our uh, local authority partners, with the voluntary sector, with the community sector already. What we're doing now is formalising that, and so I think that is an evolution. But there is one significant change of approach, and that's going to be around putting the population first. So rather than thinking about organisations, we need to think about people, and then how we join up care. Because actually, whenever you go and get care, the support you get from our staff is amazing. However, you know, the trouble is anyway, when you go to another part of the system, it's the transfer between different parts of the system is the issue that we need to join up. And that, I think, is going to be the real trick to actually making this really beneficial for the population we serve. First of all, we have people today who need to have access to NHS services. We've got a responsibility to make sure we can get them seen as quickly as possible to live healthy and fulfilled lives. But linked to that, we also need to make sure that we're doing things that also prevent ill health in the, in the first place. So this is not going to be easy. You know, we have to be really clear about that. But I think actually over time, I think if we can get people the care they need, when they need it, how they need it, then actually we'll have really made a difference. And that's why we're calling it Better Health and Care for All.